Hey guys, still here and welcome back to ICBM. We're currently on version 0.9.3 of ICBM and with that comes a new map. And that's what I'm going to play for you today. This is the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Cold War Cuban Missile Crisis. It's 1963, the world's been divided into NATO and allies, the USSR and allies, the communists, uh, which I think they just mean China and the Middle East. Is that the Middle East to some extent? And the non-communists, which is um, a bunch of Africa, India, a uh, bit of West, South America. So you can pick whatever you want. Well, of course, I'm going to go with US for this first trial. Uh, let's set the difficulty to normal. And let's see, configure. It doesn't look like any techs have been disabled, nor have they changed the contamination speed. Oh, did they change that? I think they called it pollution speed before, but contamination makes a lot more sense. Uh, all techs are available. I'd say we can get to work. All right, let's see what we have. Because as opposed to the previous playthroughs where you start with virtually no assets, now we actually have quite a few assets. And we're not just looking at one continent anymore either. We have an airbase near Paris, as well as a missile vehicle, which is armed with a, a medium-range ballistic missile. We have an airbase to the north of London, radar site, SAM site, uh, even a destroyer or two and a cruiser. Over here we have an aircraft carrier, which already has AWACS tech. Interesting. Uh, the destroyers are already armed with SAMs. That's nice. We've got a radar site in Iceland. Let's turn on the radar view. That covers quite a bit. The US has some airbase assets, some SAM assets, a couple of radar sites, and an aircraft carrier group. Which also comes with another uh, airborne early warning system. We have an airbase in Japan, a destroyer next to Japan, SAM site, radar site, uh, USSR and Allies destroyer. Now, I don't believe that we have any kind of alliance. Nor am I really interested in one. Well, maybe. Maybe with the non-communists. If I'm going to roleplay this thing, then I'm going to say I'm not going to go with allying with the uh, communists. Nor the USSR. It's going to try and join with the pink alliance. alliance. Yes. Formed. Okay, they like me. Good enough. Uh, share research. Are you guys interested? Yes, you are. Share radar research or radar info. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, how are we for science? The game has already automatically selected SSBNs. Oh, we start with MRBMs, missile vehicles. Yeah, duh. I mean, we already got a missile vehicle somewhere. Thermonuclear bombs. That's 10 megaton warheads. Short range ballistic missiles. AWACS without having advanced aircraft, SAM sites, and that'll be all. Okay. Oh, this could be interesting because hopefully, with this patch, the torpedoes have now gotten the uh, adequate buffs that they should be getting from the research. Previously, that wasn't the case, and that made the torpedoes a bit meh. But maybe now, with the improved torpedo capability, the submarines can be deadly once again. Alright, this is the Cuban Missile Crisis. So, um, the USSR and allies have deployed a couple of missile vehicles next to Havana. It's not a war yet, or at least not a hot one. But, nevertheless, I'm going to send my destroyers to blockade Cuba and make sure that there are no more missile vehicles over there. I'm not sure what this destroyer is planning on doing. Are you just... You're just gonna hit... Okay. No, you're not. Oh, and you're set to follow. No, no, no. We're gonna turn that around. You're gonna follow this guy. Hold up. Follow. There we go. Alright, that'll start to join. Um, I have AWACS aircraft, but... One, oh, one's operational here. Okay. I need you to scout out there. The other is... Why are you circling over the mid of my territory? I don't really see the benefit there. I'm wanting to circle over the North Pole. 
because the Russians, if this thing is going to go nuclear, might send some nukes that way. Uh, and not just nukes, but they could also come with planes. So I want more information there. In Europe, we have a short-range missile vehicle, a SAM site, and an airbase. And Tehran's defended by a SAM site and a radar site. This is now an ally? Yes, non-communist. These guys are my allies. So at the moment, I don't have anything to fear from them, but you never know how the AI decides to behave itself or not behave itself. Considering that I can build ships here, I'm thinking of putting, well, potentially a cruiser and a destroyer over here. Because from here, with a nuclear cruiser, nuclear tipped, I can do quite a lot of damage. Just got to make sure I park myself somewhere next to Edessa and eradicate the Russian ships over there. First though, considering I have this many air bases, I'm going to invest in better aircraft. Because that, I think, will benefit most of my units, most of my assets. As for the rest, um, let's get working on taking over control here. I'm not 100%. Is this Black Sea? Could be. It has been a while. This carrier group... Um, I don't really need it over here too much. Because I can just fly my planes from here to there if I want those missile vehicles destroyed. But that's going to be the job of the destroyers. Destroyers and aircraft assets. Are you following anything at all? Um, let's park you here. Just go here and here. And they're going to start patrolling from here to there. That's the plan. I want the aircraft carrier group here, next to Copenhagen for now. Making sure that I can start striking assets in Russia when the time comes. And the time probably will come at some point. Does that mean that I have given all my assets orders? Uh, the destroyer over here. Oh, you can go on a bit of a trip. Just patrol in front of... Uh, what's What were they called again? The communists? The communists. And this destroyer can also do a bit of a patrol. Oh, crap. Hmm. I'm not sure how safe that's going to be. Let's see what that DD is up to. Because I will be keeping an eye on it using the radar sight. It's moving. We have this uh, airborne early warning system, which seems to be out of fuel. So that one has to go back to the carrier. I want the carrier group over here, just patrolling this bit. Sam site of, ah, yes, okay. That's because that AWACS is getting into range. The missile vehicle has been detected right there. And the destroyer is already at it. Now, they don't have any anti-ballistic missile weapons, no interceptors, so immediately the SAM side gets destroyed. We're not actively in a hot war yet. I mean, it's not nuclear, but nevertheless, we have already started taking out assets from the Russians. There's another... Oh, that's a communist destroyer. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not going to carpet bomb that. Unless I really have to. Oh, hold on. This thing doesn't have... Surfs to air missiles yet. I am going to carpet bomb it. Oops. Carpet bombing is not a great way to get rid of a destroyer, but it is decent enough. Missile vehicle destroyed. Thank you. That was probably the first one in Cuba. Yep, that's the first one in Cuba dead. What? Okay. Uh, origin? Here. That's a medium range ballistic missile. Uh oh. I don't have any kind of defenses against that. So that's problematic. Um, but I guess we are instantly at war. Alright. You guys don't have any. No. They don't have any ABM. Neither do I. But this means that I can either take out the SAM sites or I can start 
taking cities out altogether. Oh! Right. The European Union doesn't exist, because it's 1963. I was suddenly surprised seeing Berlin all of a sudden in a red sector, but of course, it makes total sense. The thing is, I don't really have nukes yet, with the exception of the nukes that I have currently standing by. Taking out the SAM site might not be that useful. So, we're gonna hit Berlin. And... Moscow. Unless I'm gonna take out the destroyers here, but I think a cruiser can do... Oh, no, actually. Cancel that order. Attack here. If that destroyer is still where I think it is... Wait, one. I need information here. Gotcha. Okay. So they're throwing nukes all over the place. The reason that I put this AWACS up is that I want to take out one of these destroyers. In four and a half minutes I can spawn in a cruiser. The cruiser can spawn here next to Istanbul, take out the other destroyer, and then start wiping out all the SAM sites and other assets that they have over there. That's the plan. This destroyer is toast. Now, the thing is, they're probably not done yet. I'm probably going to take a few losses here. And yes, I did take out some of their missile vehicles, and I guess they didn't appreciate that. So that's probably the reason why we are going to get hit. Now, this SAM site needs to go, and I think that the destroyers can do that. I'll just have to be a little patient. Uh, the missile vehicles only carry one missile each, so they're not terribly deadly. Especially since these are relatively small warheads. I'll take some losses. I cannot do much against it. So be it. Mystical vehicle action complete. Okay, very good. Let's relocate, just out of safety's sake. A city Istanbul has been hit. Bombed. See, it's four ICBM standards, not that bad. It's 190,000 dead. It could have been way worse. Tehran. Enemy fighter. Oh, right. They're going to secure the airspace above their destroyer. All right. A city has Tehran, 169,000. I'm sorry, I'm just not terribly impressed. Okay, destroyer done. Istanbul hit again. Another nuclear threat detected. Origin? Here, somewhere. Now I have hit back, I've hit Berlin, but, well, not terribly deadly. How much damage did that do? 155 and 185. Oh, hold on. Istanbul was mine. Yeah, I didn't hit any other city yet. Nuclear threat detected. Another one coming in. That's probably going to go for London. Bomber destroyed. Where? Does that have to do with... This? A city has been bombed. Yes, I think so. London hit 179,000. Nuclear threat detected. Origin. Structure destroyed. Somewhere over there. I'm probably going to have to go in and make sure that they cannot keep doing that. But there are too many SAM sites around. I'm just going to take a few hits here. Raider site. Yeah, that's fine. Missile vehicle completed. Orders. Very good. You relocated. Fine. Stay where you are. A nuclear threat detected. A city has been bombed. Soul hit. 157,000 dead. A city has I am been losing bombed. some points, but the GDP is still at 100. My attack will come later. Another fighter coming in. Come on, carpet bomb that destroyer out of existence before it does the same to my airbase. Or rather, your airbase, because that is the launching site for your aircraft. Are we even doing damage with these bombers? Nuclear threat detected. Okay. Ship sunk. Destroyer destroyed. Mine or yours? Not yours. So it must have been one of mine. Here we're all right. Here we're all right. This is okay. It'd be great if they could tell me where.
They are really oh Structure shit, they're going to your base. That sucks. Structure destroyed. Raider side destroyed. Yeah, I'm starting to lose some assets here. Structure Minor destroyed. air war. No, 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 no. Don't go flying over Russian airspace. They will mess you up. Okay, you're gonna take out that one. I'm not optimistic about the survival chances of this airbase here. Because I'm out of bombers, and that destroyer keeps coming closer. Quickly. So I'll probably lose the airbase next to Fukuoka. These DDs over here are exchanging missiles. But you're in my territorial water, so I can repair and you cannot. Damn it, more nuclear threats. Structure Just destroyed. Hit again, airbase destroyed. Shit. That's the one in. Yeah. There goes the other destroyed. one. A city has been bombed. Is this all because I accidentally or not so accidentally hit the ones in Kubo? A city has been bombed. Does that have to do with that? Ooh. A city oh! Has been bombed. That's how I'm starting to lose destroyers. Yeah, that would do it. Just keep lobbing nuclear missiles at my destroyers. So... That was a serious explosion. Aleppo, 230,000. That was a more serious explosion. But... Structure Wait, destroyed. what? Aleppo might have been hit, but I think they were not going after Aleppo. I think they were going after my missile vehicle. Here, 210. And it's more that Aleppo suddenly, accidentally got hit in the blast. <laughs> okay. Another enemy bomber. I hope that the SAM side over here is capable of doing something, because I currently don't have much. Submarine. Deal with that. Another missile. Structure destroyed. Sam side lost. Submarine. Another submarine. Hello, boys. Ship sunk. What? A Wait. City has been bombed. You just destroyed. nuked my destroyer, didn't you? Yeah. That was the wrath of the missile vehicles. Nuclear threat detected. Oh boy. They better not hit the aircraft carrier group. But they might. Nope, missed. 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 Whew. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. Um, Where do we go from here? I'm only two and a half minutes in. They're definitely getting some points. I'm losing some points, but not that many. Because the warheads are still relatively limited in capabilities. The a problem, however... Holy shit. I stand corrected. Uh, that did deal a fairly serious blow to Tokyo. Structure destroyed. These Russians are not messing about. Stop. Yeah, it's getting repaired. Slowly. But at least it is getting repaired, and that's more than this destroyer could say. Go to two times speed. You guys keep trading. I shoot in. Air miss missile vehicle destroyed. Shit, another one. We still got that other communist destroyer over there, which was the one that took out the airbase. Speaking of airbases, I still have this one. But I have zero nuclear assets. If I would want to build a megaton bomb, it's going to take me three and a half minutes. That's a ten megaton. A simple, <laughs> well, a one megaton bomb is 51 seconds, and a standard nuclear bomb, uh, effective against, let's say, tactical assets, SAM sites, radar sites, air bases, it's going to take me 25 seconds. Still relatively long. Now, there are so many... Ship sunk. What? Okay. There are so many hotbed areas right now that I don't really know what to focus on. So we're going to keep it on standard mode instead of nuclear destruction mode. Which means that we shouldn't be we shouldn't be taking that many losses. 
or at least the time is not going to pass by so quickly without me realizing what I have lost. Hello, submarine. Cut that out. Okay, you're done. It does look like this destroyer needs some help. Uh, cancel that order and move to... Oh. Go on. Move there. Get that missile vehicle out of our backyard. I'm not having that. But this thing is getting repaired just as quickly as my DDs are trying to kill it. Come on. Enemy bomber. Unfortunately, except, except for the SAM site, there's not much that I can do about that. The aircraft carrier group might... Might be able to reach it. I'm going to see if they can lend some assistance here. Oh shit, those were the wrong aircraft. That was fairly sizable. That was four and a half million dead. Yeah, the communists are definitely waging some serious war here. Uh, the cruiser... Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna need that cruiser. It might take some hits. But it has some pretty decent anti-vehicle capability, especially anti-warship. So, my missiles come out a lot faster than yours. And we're both getting repaired, but I have more hit points than you do. I have more hit points and I do more damage. I just don't have anything to intercept the missiles that you keep throwing my way. Oh, we already have short-range ballistic missiles? Fuck that thing in particular. Oh yes, okay. That changes everything. Uh, cruisers. You are green to shoot at anything that you think is an interesting target. Radar sites, SAM sites, mobile SAMs, air bases, uh, missile vehicles, over the horizon radars, missile silos, ICBM vehicles, you know what, just everything, except for cities. Uh, you do not need to synchronize your attack. It needs to be an auto-continue mission. Allow overkills, not required. Execute strike plan. Executing strike plan. So now we're going to keep hitting everything. And some other cruisers might also... There we go. This cruiser is also in range. And now I can start hitting back. That's... Yeah, that's a quick way to get rid of a destroyer. You're right. That's way more efficient. Ship sunk. Whoa. What caused that destruction? It said cruiser destroyed, but that was too short range to a missile vehicle. So it was something else. Now a destroyer does work, but it might not be that useful. Anyway, we have a destroyer over here. Uh, no cruiser as of yet. I want a cruiser over there. It'll take me five and a half minutes. In the meanwhile, the cruiser over here can do some cleanup. Because there are still quite a few assets, and I'm going to park it over here. And see if I can hit some more stuff. Unfortunately, without the escort of an AWACS aircraft. But this guy still has its own uh, early warning system. Here you are. I need you to circle over there. Come on, get rid of the destroyer. Yeah, with a tactical nuclear missile, that works. Ship destroyed. Excellent. How is the situation happening in the North American sector? Not too much happening, but Mexico has been hit. They probably won't be building stuff on Cuba anymore. And I am allied with the guys over here. Not so much with the guys over there, right? Or are they my... No, they're my allies. Wait. Are they, though? Yeah, because I'm only fighting red and green, or red and yellow, whatever that is. I'm colorblind. I don't see that. Unit reached its destination. Okay, that's the destroyer. You are currently undergoing repairs. Not sure if that submarine is still where it says it is. So let's see what happens when we get there. Oh, yes, it's definitely still here. Ooh. Ship sunk. Did they give... Shit. 
Did the give torpedoes more teeth? No, submarines really still don't like getting hit. Could be sudden death, this one. Ooh, we won. But only by a small margin. Anyway, I lost another destroyer. Or so it said. Lots and lots of missiles, but is that accurate? Oh, no, 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 no. Not nuclear war mode. Not yet. Enemy destroyer. Hello. Um, I really don't want to hit him with bombs. I do have a couple of nuclear bombs in storage. That would definitely kill it. Fuck it. Can we get that far? Yes, we can. Allow air patrol. This early warning asset is very useful. How far can these jets fly? Point of no return. We can fly to there. Should need to get a bit closer. Ship sunk. Damn it. Let me guess. Over in the north? Yeah. I think the destroyer over here is too weak on its own. I'm going to tell that to join the aircraft carrier group here. Oh shit, there's a sub. Unfortunately, it's too close to the SAM site here. I'm really going to need another cruiser somewhere in, let's say, British coastal waters and just start nuking that. Because there are too many assets here. I need you to just hold. Another enemy destroyer detected. <clears throat> okay. Uh, consider it overkill, but I need that thing out of the way. You do have service to air missiles. Let's hope that this thing survives. Damn it, another destroyer? Yep, that's the one over there. It did, however, trade for an enemy radar site. Did you... Yeah, you did drop it. Destroyer is gone at the expense of one aircraft. One aircraft's not too expensive. Now, we are 96% GDP, 93% population versus 100 and 100. So, relatively seen, they're doing a hell of a lot better. Uh, what can you hit with the surface the surface missile? Right. Get over there. Enemy submarine detected. That's potentially that one. SAM site, airbase. I think this is the airbase. No! Shit. I think that that was the airbase that keeps launching the bombers. Now, their surface-to-air missile capability is too good right now for me to fly in with aircraft from the aircraft carrier. Once these SAM sites are dead, I'll be able to go after these things. And that one, and that one. And I'm probably going to have to also slowly start scaling up to deal with cities. Enemy destroyer not found in his last known location, okay. Aircraft carrier is complete. Keep going, boys. So where did you take your destroyer, huh? Can't wait for another cruise to be complete. How is this SAM site not dying? Probably because the SAM site has a lot more hit points than a radar site. Unit reaches destination. Okay, that's the aircraft carrier group in what I think is currently the North Sea. Aircraft, advanced aircraft in five minutes. Now, once that is done, I'm thinking of upgrading my ships to make sure that I have some better capability there. Cruise missiles increase the range and accuracy of surface-to-surface -surface missiles. That's probably a handy research for the amount of ships that I currently have. Although they are starting to die out somewhat. All right, here we go. That's one some side dead. Enemy satellite? Really? Just like that, huh? 
unfortunately, I don't have anything that can kill satellites. So we're just going to wave at the satellite as it flies over. And that's about all we can do. Give me another cruiser. That's another SAM site dead. Very good. I now need you to just randomly, or maybe not so randomly, throw a missile that way, but it says it cannot attack. Okay. Carry on. I think they really want this cruiser dead, but I'm wondering how the AI is going to try and do that. Because it might not be able to adequately deal with it. Boom. Missile vehicle gone. This is a great cleanup action, huh? Very, very nice. Ideally, I'd also be getting another AWACS helo. Let's pry out that one so I can see more targets here. Enemy submarine not found at its last known location. Okay. There's the satellite again. 20 seconds, and we have more eyes. Can you hit this far? No, you cannot. Wait, what? Oh, you weren't in territorial waters. Oh, the cruiser's not escorting. I thought it was. Off you go. Yep, that's the carrier group. There we go. Hit. Cruiser action complete. Yes. Um, I thought you were following, but I'm not seeing it. All right. Now we're going to have advanced aircraft, Research which is nice. Complete. Means we have upgraded to Hornets, and we have F-14, I think, F-15 bit weird launching an F-15 from an aircraft carrier, but hey, you never know in this game. Let's proceed. Can we take that carrier group to Copenhagen? We can take it beyond, but there's still a little bit of a submarine threat here. Get over here. Whee! We found another one. There you go. Okay. Death charge is away. Missed. Do it again. Kill. Well done. Now I need that airbase. Or rather, I need it dead. Oh, another DD. Sorry, sub. Uh, my dear cruiser. Can you deal with that? You cannot attack it. Understood. Any missile vehicle detected. That might be these guys. Oh shit, what do you want? Well, I have an idea of what you want, I just don't agree with it. Let's see if I can take out this air, or this uh, submarine from the skies. That'll make it slightly more, nope, comfortable to deal with the formation that I want to push in there. New tech, over the horizon radar. Okay, that's not my research, that's my ally doing it. What is my ally up to? They're building nuclear bombs and they're not re oh there we go. Medium research medium range ballistic missiles. I already have that. So that doesn't benefit me too much. Um I suppose we could build a missile silo missile silo or no. No, we can't. Megaton bombs are, or 10 megaton bombs are still going to take too long. Hmm. So the cruise missiles are done. I want improved long wave rate. Well, ASAT could be handy. Just make sure that they don't have any visual anymore. No. Uh, improved long wave radar after. It's going to allow the cruisers to do even more damage. You are clear to engage. I like that we have over the horizon capability, but I haven't seen a nuke in a while. Dead. Uh, 
I'm gonna set you on a patrol pattern to make sure that missile vehicles can't get you. Because they might try that. And I'm not particularly eager to be on the receiving end of one of those. We've seen that they can kill. Destroyer is gonna be ready soon. And we'll be escorting the aircraft sorry, the cruiser over there. Uh next. Alliance formed. Oh, they finally decided to ally. Okay. Next is gonna be an airbase. Sam side destroyed, very good. We're slowly but steadily cleaning up the uh, amount of assets that they have over here. Missile vehicles even. Sam side destroyed. Keep it up, guys. If you could actually follow the aircraft carrier in, that'd be great. There goes another one. The CV is ready. New destroyer ready to be deployed. You. I want you to follow this guy. Oh, what the fuck? Did that... Th no, that did not just get deployed. That just got detected. I'm sorry, I was not expecting a submarine in this area. And I'm surprised that it hasn't killed my cruiser yet. I'll take it, but that was risky. Alright. Oh shit, there's still a sub here. Hold up. There it is. Hey, you. Don't be like that. Come on. Wipe it out. Something destroyed. Well done. Not too sure who did it, but I'll take it. The aircraft carrier has taken some damage. Let's park it next to Stockholm and get it repaired. Both the destroyers are fine, and so is the cruiser. Good. Alright, this is where I'm going to leave you guys for this first part. I'd say that this is going to look like a very interesting scenario, because the map is all different, the alliances are different, and this means that the outcome will also be very different. Points-wise, I'm behind on the Russians, but I feel like I've taken out quite a lot of their assets over here. The next step is going to be building an airbase, building a couple of 10 megaton bombs, and starting to level some cities, starting probably with Moscow. So join me next time, which will probably be tomorrow, as we're going to be continuing the Cold War, or in this case, the not-so-cold war, because we are actively engaged in nuclear warfare. Thank you for watching. Join me tomorrow. See you then.